you wrote a really excellent post in August where you actually pushed back against Dorakesh Patel's post because you talked about how like the current systems just through amending what we have, like we don't use an entire new paradigm to get something approximating continuous learning out of these models. And I've actually found with ChatGPT 5 you're on the money there because the cross chat memory has definitely made a difference. What tweaks could we made over the next maybe 12 months to improve the continuous learning out of the current models even further? The number one thing that I'm both trying to do and I think that needs to be done is we need to figure out how to get all the context actually into the models when people are using them for very serious knowledge work domains. I think if you open Claude or ChatGPT, they tell you about all these integrations that they have so you can connect Gmail and Box and Dropbox. But most people don't use them and most people don't organize the information in a way that the like, chatbot actually understands them. And we've seen, I, I, for example, for some numbers, we've seen the context length of these models get way longer. We'll, I'll talk both about context length, which is the number of tokens that you could put into a model and have it generate something out. And then context in general, which is just like information that you could hold. And the naming is linked because <laughs> you put one into the other. For example, it's like GPT-5 has 400,000 tokens of context. And if, when I've like summed up every single blog post I've written on interconnects, which is like a few hundred token, few hundred posts, it's, it's like about 400,000 tokens. If the information is organized to the model, I'm willing to, like, my argument is I think there's actually a lot of things that it could understand in there that I'm not going to be able to pull out, especially when you take the models that are like 12 to 18 months down the line. But no one actually does this. It's kind of like a pain to actually give all the information to, to these models. And the idea is that I would like to see what is like Claude code, but for people's intellectual lives and try to have, like, how do you actually put your entire digital life in the work sense into one of these models and tell it how it's organized. But no one's done this. And I think as people try it, they're actually going to be much better kind of aids for processing what you have done and what you're doing now relates to it. And I guess we could have covered this at the beginning, but the whole motivation is Dwarkash was like an AI can never do some of these little tasks that I do for my blog or it'll never learn. And I just think that it's like, A, no one has really tried it. And B, the models are still getting better. So it just kind of seems like a weird position to die on the hill of like, this can't work when it's like, like so many things that have happened in the last few years are things that just seemed unthinkable to just start working with AI.